Hello there everybody, this is Communicating Awesomeness. This is a new channel, I started kind of hobbies, talk show, all sorts of stuff, and I really wanted to start a talk show on this channel, just interviewing awesome people I know. And the first guest on the show is the legend himself, Taylor Peterson. Come on Taylor, come on the show. Legend. Thank you so much Taylor for coming on, thank you for, oh, for being on the show, good no to see problem. you. Cool. Uh, so well, like I said, all my life goals is to host a talk show, yeah. and I'm just so excited for it. doing this. Uh, first guest. And so basically, Taylor, he has a YouTube channel, he has a couple of social media pages. Yeah. And I just, first off, what inspired you to create your YouTube channel, Sip This, as well as your Facebook and Instagram pages, Uprooted, which they will, I'll post the links. Yeah, we'll post the links at the bottom whenever you, you do your video magic. Um, originally, so I'm going through school, mm -hmm. uh, chiropractic program, got four years, two years into it, got four years uh, total, so two years left. And I just wanted to like show my journey about what I do with fitness, health, wellness, um, stuff along those lines. So I thought the easiest way to do that instead of blogging, because I'm not a good writer, I don't write things, I would rather be in front of a video camera or I'd rather be behind a camera taking pictures. So I would rather show you my day-to-day -day life posting five to six pictures a day or um, posting one video a week explaining things, how I do it, why I do it. What's the reason behind it? Just to get people in the mindset that I'm in right now of taking that next step to better themselves in that kind of way. Perfectly yeah. said. That's a great, great reason to start, yep. to start a social media pages. It's pretty much just, um, originally it was for me just to keep me accountable for myself. And then when I realized that people were actually following it and looking at it, um, I loved that I was getting the feedback that I was getting. So that pushed me even more like oh people are actually watching this they're consuming the content so i went into that and i was like oh cool so it's for me and for other people and i love helping others and doing whatever i can to do that so it's good stuff and many many great reasons i'm so glad you yeah. started the account yeah. uh one of my favorite parts about your uprooted pages are the many delicious looking meals that you Ooh. post pictures of i love seeing those i do love cooking and i just want to know like what was like are there any particular meals that you've kind of discovered since you started the page like they really have stood out to you i've done so since i started the page i started the page doing a strictly vegan plant-based diet just to lower my blood pressure, um, lower my cholesterol, and better myself because I was going through high stress levels with school. So with that, it was I really had to get creative with what I was making because there was no meat, there was no fat, there was really nothing that I really grew up eating. So when I was doing a strictly plant-based diet, I love just putting things together. So I did a lot of vegetable stir fries. So those are my favorite like fry up some vegetables, just do that. Um, and then now I'm on a strictly like plant, not plant-based, I'm on a, a ketogenic diet. So it's high fat, decent amount of protein with not many carbs. So I'm eating beef and bacon and butter and all this other stuff. So every single day I do three eggs, eight ounces of beef, two tablespoons of butter, bacon and salsa and avocado. And it's the best thing ever. I like it's what you said the, about being creative. Like, you kind of have to. You have to. When it comes to cooking, like, people get into the rut where it's always it's always the same thing over and over and over again. And believe me, I eat the same thing over and over and over and over again. But if you add new things to it, you don't get bored of that one thing. Or even one ingredient can make a huge Even one ingredient, yeah. yeah. You put in, so, like, you put in red chili flake, and you don't put in red chili flake the week before, you got spicy food now. Or you put in more pepper, you got new food now. But... It's all about creativity. So the funnest thing I ever made, funnest, is that a word? The, oh, we'll allow it. Whatever. The best thing, <laughs> the most creative thing I ever made, I had a can of black beans, I had some honey, I had some blueberries, and I had like salt, pepper, and some seasonings. I put them all in the blender and blended it up, and I made that like as a jam, and I put it on toast with oh. some more honey. That's a perfect mix. It was pretty good. Wrong. One it, can never go wrong with toast. I was, I was actually pretty surprised how well it turned out but I don't know if I'll do it again. <laughs> it was a lot of work for just that much, uh, that little of a spread thing, so. Well, hey, good, you did it, you made it happen. Dude, I try, I try. And kind of on the topic of breakfast, yep. one of my favorite posts that you've recently posted on your Uprooted page was you made pancakes, and I just wanna know, oh, what's the secret to quality pancakes, at least the ones you made, you those have, look really good. You have to let the batter sit for five minutes. You have to. And you can't make them too runny. Like, 
you always put in less water than the package says. And then if it's way too thick, you put in a little more, but you have to let it rest for five minutes because it gets to room temperature. And then when it gets to room temperature, it cooks evenly and it cooks better and they become more fluffy. Oh, five minutes, people. Let it rest. A fluffy, fluff, a fluffy pancake. One can never go wrong. Fluffy pancakes are the best pancakes. Exactly. You can't, no. They yeah. need to make a bed made of pancakes just so you could... I'm going to do it. Wake up in the morning like your breakfast is already next to you. You want to do it? I'm in. <laughs> the I'm next in. the next mission of the channel. I'm in. Uh, so anyways, in regards to your Sip This channel, which yep. is like you said, you do the videos. Yep. It's a little bit more about motivation, kind of you personally speaking to yep. the camera. Yep. And I really like how you combine that motivation with coffee testing. Oh, yeah. And I just, uh, it's such a fun balance. And I want to know, like, what inspired you to combine coffee with the motivation in regards to the content of the channel? I love coffee. <laughs> like, I hated coffee until my senior year in undergrad. And then my roommate said, hey, try this, because I needed it for actually a pre-workout. So I just needed the caffeine. I tried coffee, and I fell in love with it. And ever since, I drink coffee every single morning, probably two cups. Um, but when it came to the Sip This channel, I... Like this, the, the, the story behind Sip This is I want you to sip more than just the coffee when you're watching my videos. I want you to sip the knowledge. I want you to sip the information I'm um, telling the viewers. And it's not fake information. It's all based on what I've seen, what I've done, how I've done it, why I've done it. I'm not going to go out and copy someone else. Like it's all like true to heart kind of information. And that's what I'm big in. Like, you're going to do stuff different than me and I'm going to do stuff different than you. But if I can tell you something that I've done that you can take into your life and kind of manipulate it and work it into your day to day life, I am all about that. It's just it's an easy way for people to um, listen for a quick two to three minutes and see what I'm all about and just try to implement that into their life to just be better than the day before, really. Yeah, I really like your videos really do offer. I like how you said it's kind of your own. Like, I like each video so personal with yeah. your own mindset. And you can really, and each person in their own, but I think your the, the advice you offer is, can be applied to everyone in, their, in its own way. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be personal, I and think. I, I really like your video, Vision is Everything. And I kind of oh, like yeah. how you talk about making the best of a bad situation. Yeah. Uh, that really stuck with me. I liked it a lot. Yeah, the best of the bad situation. Like the Vision video, Vision Part 2 should be coming out soon. I've been extremely <laughs> busy with midterms and school. Hey, it's that's a, important stuff. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so videos kind of go hit or miss. But if you don't have a vision on what you want to do, um, how you want to do it, you're really just treading water and right now with the amount of opportunities we have in this world and in America like you can't tread water you need to go out and chase what you want to chase you need to go out and do what you want to do if that's go to school great if that's not go to school if that's work right away you just need to go do it and get experience and put the time in and that's how you learn and I think you win, you win you you're going to win some battles and you're going to uh, lose some battles and the battles you lose are going to make you win more battles in the long run so that's the whole vision is everything and taking the best from a bad situation perfectly said yeah. experience is everything it's, yeah and really quick i kind of want to just uh these are some fast kind of one answer kind of questions right, i'll do this. throw them at you yeah all right favorite coffee uh, brand I'll, or anything you, or favorite coffee you've tried you've tried with the channel the best place i've tried that isn't on the channel yet is alliance coffee in northeast minneapolis so good uh favorite chain coffee like like you know like you really think of like coffee. like millions not millions like are we millions. talking like starbucks caribou dunkin Donuts? yeah that kind of like the top tier chains i'm gonna have to go with caribou Caribou? Minnesota. Minnesota, born and raised. There's, so, yeah, so Caribou's down here, Starbucks. Um, oh, no, I'm going to take that back. <laughs> Dunn Brothers. Dun. Dunn Brothers is my favorite. I totally forgot about Dunn Brothers. We don't have any in, we don't have many in Minnesota. I studied there all the time and drank coffee there all the time. All right, Dunn Brothers. I'll have to put that on the. Uh... Dunn Brothers is good. Because you said you kind of got into coffee later in your life, you said? I did, so... Yeah, I, haven't, I'm not, I haven't started drinking coffee yet. I started coffee drinking it straight black. A lot of people start drinking it with sugar and, like, cream and stuff. I just went straight for the good stuff, so... Yeah, Dumb Brothers. Dumb Brothers. All right, I'll have to look that up. And also, every time I interview somebody now, this has absolutely nothing to do with okay. anything we've talked about. Yeah. Uh, there is a species of bird that I... My favorite bird in the whole world are blue jays. I uh -huh. love blue jays. And I've seen one... Oh, I've seen one about three times, yeah. but they've been, like, in trees really high, and I can't... And I've wanted to take a picture of a blue jay. Yeah. It's my goal. And I just want to know, what are your blue jay t 
tips in what order I, to... What like, about Blue Jay, like, taking pictures of them? Yeah, like, we're... You need to go up to my grandma's house, mm-hmm. and you need to sit in her kitchen window mm-hmm. and look out into her farm, mm-hmm. because there's Blue Jays all over the place. And, and, you, and you'll be able to take a picture of them. All right. With a big lens. You need, like, a... You, you need a huge lens, though. <laughs> I will write that down. I gotta... Hey, that's just, my Blue Jay. I want to take a picture of one so bad. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to. I don't know why. I mean, I know seeing something, it's just like... You just have to sit still for a while and just... <laughs> whoosh. All right, so that's all of my questions. I just want to say thank you so much, Taylor, for being on the show. First time ever, first episode. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to upload this uh, video, and be sure to check out Sip List as well as Uproot. Is that that's both on Instagram and Facebook, right? Yeah. So um, the Instagram page is up dot rooted dot ed, and then I don't know the Facebook page. I'll send Joe the links, and he can he can link them up. Be in description. Yeah, and then the YouTube page. I'll send him that too. Um, But yeah, check it out. I'd love to, yeah, just, I don't know. It's just me being me, just like Joe's being Joe right now. It's it's good cool. stuff. Exactly. It's great. A lot of great food, very motivational, yeah. and so many great qualities. Like you said, it just I keep using the word motivation, but it's motivational. Oh, yeah, it's fun. You can take it as motivation. You can take it as uh, mm-hmm. you can take it as anything you really want to take it. I'm, I'm just trying to shed light on stuff that I think is important and what I don't see many people doing nowadays, and it's – It's fun. Awesome, awesome. Perfectly said. Thank you, Taylor, for coming on the show.